hey kids, we're going to bake today, but first you need to go get an adult and you they and will supervise help. while you're in the kitchen. Good morning. Looks like you guys are all ready to bake. I'm so excited how many people have joined us today. If you have questions during today's class, go ahead and um, just type them in and we'll, we'll try and get to them as they come along. And uh, I hope you have your tray set up. I sent out a picture on Instagram if you wanted to see exactly what my tray looked like. All uh, the recipe that we're making, strawberry medallions, uh, and the ingredients and the materials are all listed on our website at studiojune.com slash supply lists. Uh, let's see. I've set my oven to 400 degrees. So parents, that's something you can do. Kids, we need to make sure that we've washed our hands. I just washed mine. So if you haven't washed your hands, now is a good time to just step over to the sink and scrub for 20 seconds and then come back and we'll get started. And hopefully we have a few more signing on right now. So I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds to get those hands washed. Let's give it 30, okay? Okay, I think everyone should have clean hands by now. So today we are making strawberry medallions. Um, just parents, just like our last classes, if you don't catch the, all the details in this one, we'll have it up on our YouTube channel after, so you can go ahead and watch it or bake these as many times as you want. We're making strawberry medallions. However, whatever sort of jam you choose de determines what kind of medallions you have. Uh, so I happen to have strawberry in my refrigerator, so that's the kind of medallions I'm making. I'm going to go through all the ingredients. And children, if you can find on your tray the ingredients as I name them, um, and then we'll get started, okay? So let's see what we have. We have butter, and the butter needs to be at room temperature. White sugar. Flour. baking powder, vanilla, and then I have my jam. We're not going to mix the jam in. That is for after we get the cookies all formed and on our baking sheet. So I have a baking sheet here that's got parchment paper on it. If you don't have parchment paper, you can grease your, um, your cookie sheet. I have a mixing bowl, and this one was my grandma Byerly's mixing bowl. I'm gonna use that one today. I have a cutting board with a knife, and I'm using a rubber spatula. You can also use a wooden spoon if you have a wooden spoon. And then I have a little spoon for scooping the jam later, okay? And then I like to keep a towel with me. I don't know if you saw in our last class, I had a towel next to me. Sometimes if my hands get a little food on them, well, trust me. Do you have your mixing bowl? First, we're going to add the butter. And this one I'm going to need my spatula for. So I hold the bowl with one hand. And with the other hand, I'm going to push the butter with my spatula into the bowl. You see? And I did get some butter on my hand, so I'm going to wipe it off. Make sure you don't lick those fingers. You need to wipe it off on the towel. Now I'm going to add the sugar, the white sugar. I'm just going to pour it all the way in. Watch. There we go. Okay. And are you ready? Now we're going to what's called cream, the butter and sugar together. And so we're just gonna push them down and mix them around so they get all mixed up. So watch, I'm gonna hold my bowl like this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm not making circles this time, I'm just pushing them together. So I'm gonna do that until all the sugar gets in and then I make my circles. Are you ready to make circles? Remember, keep all the ingredients in the bowl, and we go round and round, pushing your spatula on the bottom of the bowl. There it is. 
Round and round. Oh, these are going to be good, I can tell. Now we're going to add our flour. And this we can just dump right in the bowl. Watch. And our baking powder. And vanilla. It always smells so good. Okay, it's time to mix again. Are you ready? So slowly, we're gonna mix it around and we're gonna keep mixing slowly. Round and round until all that butter and sugar gets mixed in with the flour. Keep all your ingredients in the bowl. You'll see it's starting to form a dough. Hmm, my dough seems a little dry. I'm going to keep mixing it and see how it does with this butter. I'm going to touch it with my hands and see how it does. Sorry, every once in a while I have to adjust my screen. Okay, so my dough is looking a little dry still. Let me show you. This is my cookie dough. It looks a little dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get just a little bit of water to add. So moms and dads, if you're child's dough looks a little dry like this, you might want to add a little water. If it looks like it's forming a ball of dough, you don't need to add any water. So I will be right back. I'm going to get some water. And I'm just going to pour a little bit, just a little bit in, and I'm going to see how that goes. We're going to keep rolling, stirring around, keeping all the ingredients in the bowl. So we want to add enough water that it starts to make a ball of dough, but not sticky. <clears throat> I'm going to add just a little bit more. How is your dough looking? Do you have a ball of dough? So now is the part where we're going to use our hands. If you can get your dough to look like this, does your dough look like this? Okay. Now I'm going to put my spatula down and I need to use my hands to very carefully make it into a ball. You don't need to use all of it. You can just do maybe half of your dough. And we're going to get our cutting board out. Do you see? This is my ball of dough. Do you have a ball of dough? Okay. Now I'm going to roll it. Can you, can you help with my screen? It keeps going off. We're going to roll the dough so it gets long. You see that kind of like a, we start to make a snake. See how long it is? Look at that. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands off with my towel. Do you see this long piece of dough? Now I'm going to slice with my acrylic knife. Do you have a, maybe you have a crinkle knife or an acrylic knife? And we're just going to slice. And then we're going to put that circle right on the cookie sheet. See, I put it on my prepared baking sheet. I'm going to slice another one. And another one. And I'm going to fill up my whole baking sheet with these slices.
you don't want to place them too close together on the baking sheet because they are going to, when they cook, they'll spread out a little bit. All right. This is my baking sheet and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices on there. There's going to be eight cookies on there. Now we get to try something else fun. We have to be so gentle while we do this, but I know you can be gentle and you can take your finger or your thumb, whichever one you want to use. I'm going to use my thumb and I'm going to push down just a little bit in the middle of my cookie. So it makes a little dent in it. Do you see that? And I'm going to do that to each of my cookies. Are you using your thumb to press so gently on the cookies? I got all of them. Did you put a dent in all of your cookies? So Judy asked about the butter. Yes, Judy, we added the butter first. So if you don't have butter in there, make sure you get it in now, okay? And it'll start to make that dough. Judy might still be mixing and still getting to this part, but don't worry. This video will be on our YouTube channel and you can go through all the steps and all the steps are listed on our website on the recipe, okay? So now that we have our tray, our baking sheet with all the cookies on it and the little dent in the middle, now we get to fill them with our jam. So these are our medallions, which are kind of like a circle. And now we're going to make them strawberry medallions by putting just a little bit, take your spoon, Put a little bit of strawberry jam right in that little dent that you made. See, can you fill it? You want to fill that little bitty space that you made with jam. Just a little bit. shake it just a little bit to get it off my spoon, but shake just little shakes, just little taps. Do you see? I had a little drip of jam right here. That's okay. I'm just going to leave it. It'll be okay. Three more to go. One left. Sticky that jam. I need a little bit more jam in that one. There we go. Okay. Now my cookies are ready to go in the oven. And let me just see how long we're going to bake them. So we're baking them at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Okay. So Kids, this is the part that your parent can do where they put it in the oven and then you can check on it with them after about 10 minutes. And if they're not golden brown, you probably want to give them just another minute or two. And then they're going to be so tasty when you have a snack later. I will post a picture of what ours look like when they come out of the oven. So I'm getting ready to put them in the oven. And moms and dads, I just want to tell you a few things. If you're looking for a project over the weekend, another baking project, we put up a, on our YouTube channel, we have the apple crisp recipe, which is fun. And my kids devoured that right after it came out of the oven. So it's very tasty. So you can do apple crisp. Uh, you're welcome to repeat any of these recipes because I know children love repetition. And uh, if you have the ingredients for one um, 
one time to do this recipe, you probably have the ingredients to do it a second time. So definitely keep baking. Uh, I encourage you to have a routine when you're doing something with your child or preparing them to be independent in a hands-on activity every day. It's nice to start the day with it. Um, my shirt, if you like my shirt, it's by a company called Metal Insect. You can go to their website, metalinsect.com. They're a small business that only does Montessori gear. And we'd love your support if you would love a t-shirt. It's a great place to go. If you want more recipes and tips on working with your child, Children in the Kitchen, there's my book, First Foods to Family Meals. Um, a lot of great information there by the book that helps support us and what we're doing. Um, and then we're going to continue doing these baking classes and gardening classes for free. We're going to stay online and keep you um, engaged with Studio June. And uh, if you felt if you had the urge and you wanted to donate to Studio June, there's a button on our website. You could just give a little to help us keep this going. We too are a small business and trying to do what we can to stay connected with all of you during this time. So I'm excited that you guys continue to join us. This is great, so much fun. Send us your pictures, put them up on Instagram and tag us um, at the Studio June. Use the hashtag bake with me. Uh, we wanna see all your photos of your little ones. Um, being so independent and baking in the kitchen. So thanks for joining me. And uh, our next live show is Monday, 9 a.m. Central. We are making pizza muffins. Yay! Okay, I will see you then. Bye.